Hey Megan, I just want to start this out by saying that I can relate. I am actually a single mom of three kids and last semester when I did my intensive, there was a lot of this going on trying to tell my kids to be quiet and get out of the video. Funny story, one of them actually decided to pee off the porch while I was on a video call. So I understand that. But anyway, I want to say you did an excellent job, you know, thoroughly describing both the gestalt and the existential theories. And you took your time and went through the techniques and told a lot about each one. I couldn't seem to find the time to do that. However, I also wanted to add is that while both of them focus heavily on the here and now, I found that the gestalt seems to leave little room for the future, how the here and now impacts the future. And the existential kind of looks at what's going on in the present, in the present with the future in mind also. And I really enjoyed your reference to the biblical perspective on the importance of not doing life alone. <clears throat> I mentioned in the beginning of this, I am a single mom with three kids and not doing life alone is kind of hard sometimes. But biblically, I know that we're not meant to. We're meant to do it with someone else and accept help. Let's see, I also wanted to point out that there's a common theme in the theories that we've learned about this far. And one of that is the lack of controlled studies as a kind of limitation to empirical research. I know you listed some other limitations. And it seems like even when we did our first assignment with the psychoanalytic and Adlerian theories, that there just isn't much research that can vouch for the effectiveness of these theories. But then again, we look at them and their theories that have been around some of them for a century or more. So there has to be some sort of effectiveness going on to keep on practicing them. But like you mentioned, the Dussault, it does have a little bit more research to back it up because the techniques that it uses are more solidified and easier to define versus the existential, which is kind of vague and hard to come up with concrete definitions of the techniques going on in that theory. But all around, I think that you did an excellent video and I just related to you seeing that you're a mom and real life was happening in your video. So I wanted to reply to you and tell you real life happens all around right here. And you probably hear background noise of my washer, but thankfully all the kids are being quiet.